Governor Larry Hogan's wife is the first South Korean born first lady in the U.S. Today, Yumi Hogan welcomed to Maryland another history making woman from South Korea. Maryland's first lady, Yumi Hogan, and South Korea President Park Geun hye spoke briefly to each other, but both avoided talking to the mostly international press corps gathered at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt. As part of an official U.S. visit to Washington this week, South Korea's first female president toured one of the research buildings on campus and saw up close the cosmic collaborations between our countries. A lot of our Earth science, we have to go off and, and validate the data. So we have uh, validation sites in, in Korea. And of course, our scientists work very closely together on a number of activities. The president also received a pre recorded thank you for that teamwork from astronaut Scott Kelly aboard the International Space Station. On board the ISS, we're advancing scientific knowledge to benefit people living on our own planet. And it's taking a lot of teamwork at NASA to make this apparatus work. President Park got a demonstration on a robot that, in the 2020s, hopes to land on an asteroid, grab a hold of a multi ton boulder from its surface, this is a fake boulder, and bring it back to Earth for research. Being able to talk, show to a uh, head of state is really important because that allows us to. to highlight what we do together and hopefully, you know, encourage greater collaboration. On Friday, Presidents Park and Obama will meet among the topics to be discussed, the goal of denuclearization on the Korean Peninsula. In Greenbelt, George Lattice, WBAL-TV 11 News.